Wanna play a game? Today's game is to like, comment, and subscribe. If all fails to do so, I will find you. Hey guys, so today I am starting with this LA Colors color stick in the shade white that I used in my Pennywise tutorial and I'm just going to apply that all over my face, down my neck and onto my chest and blending it out with my fingers. I know to get that more opaque look most people would use a face paint or a water activated paint but I love to give you guys the cheaper option because not everyone has money to go and spend on face paint and stuff. <laughs> now I'm gonna set the um <laughs> sorry it just went all over my um in my eye but I'm gonna set the color stick with some powder just so whatever I apply on top of that it doesn't move it around too much and it blends out really nicely and smoothly. So now taking this long foam and Albert Elbez palette I'm going to be taking that middle gray shade and applying it on the sides of my chin in a line just to give me that puppet when I open my mouth to give me that more puppet um, open mouth look <laughs> and blending it inwards a little bit. And I'm also going to give myself a quick butt chin too. <laughs> now taking that gray eyeshadow again, I'm just going to apply the upset, dented um, eyebrow look, angled eyebrow look. And I'm also taking that gray eyeshadow to um, apply it on the sides of my nose to contour a little bit and make my nose a little bit smaller. Now I'm just going to take that gray eyeshadow to create the um, lifted out cheekbones just because we don't have like any latex or anything to apply and make the cheekbones stick out like it normally would. And I am back with the other cheekbone done because my camera did cut off on me. Sorry about that. So now I'm just going to use my finger just to blend it out a little bit to give it more of a faded look so it doesn't look, you know, so obvious that it was drawn on. Now I'm going to go in with this black eyeshadow from the Take Me to Brazil palette and outline everything that I did just to make it stand out a little bit more. But that gray shade is still going to give it that fade to make it look more puppet-like. Now I'm just going to outline the sides of my face up by my temples just to give it that more lifted look as well. And I'm using the gray eyeshadow to do so because I don't want the black to make it stick out too much. <laughs> Now I'm going to take the gray eyeshadow just to make more of a shadow and make my cheeks look a little bit more rounded. 
and with this part you really want to go in with a light hand unless you're going to um, blend it out. Now I'm going to take the gray eyeshadow again just to create like a shadow um, between and below my eyebrow and my nose. To take this matte lip cream in the shade red from black radiance and apply that over my lips and give it that messy lip look that Billy the puppet has going on <laughs> if you guys didn't know that um, the puppet in jigsaw his name is Billy I found that out when I went to do this tutorial <laughs> So now for the spirals on the cheek, I'm going to start off by using a red eyeshadow just to out, just to draw it out first and outline it. Then I'm going to apply it with the red lip cream and go over it with that. And I'm really upset about this part because I should have used more of like a makeup brush pencil which would have been thinner and easier to apply and the spirals wouldn't look so close as they do now. So now I'm going to take that red lipstick and apply it on my eyelid in like a circle shape not taking up my whole eyelid but just focusing it in the middle and I kept looking back at a picture of Billy for reference for these parts for the whole thing actually <laughs> Now I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and fill in the rest of the way which is why I said only make a small circle that's going to fit in the middle of your eyelid and um, shade it in around it and also a little bit under your eye too so when you close it you see like a, you know, um, a black circle with red in the middle. I'm just gonna fill in a little pupil with a black eyeshadow as well. So now moving on to the chest part, which is why I bought the um, color stick all the way down. I'm going to create a fake bow, a red one using the lip matte cream. And I did bring this bow down a little bit too far, but it's okay. <laughs> and if you do have a bow tie and a top to put on, Go ahead, go get dressed, but I have to, you know, draw it on. So now I'm going back in with that gray eyeshadow just to add a little bit more of a shadow underneath my um, eyes and blending it out. And this will complete my jigsaw look. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye, guys.